What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, High Priestess Subscribers, and welcome, welcome, newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, tours and you enjoy my content, if you can ring the bell and buy my full time, I super appreciate it. Just saying, if you enjoy my content and you enjoy my Gabby Mouth, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. I got one channel message in as I was meditating on your energy, and the message I received was karmic debt clear. So, some kind of karmic debt cleared that could be you clearing that. That could be karma debt that you have cleared out of your life energetically or somebody you're connected to has cleared karma debt out of their life. However, that resonates for you. Uh, karmic debt is basically karma you have built up in the universe and um, um, it's been cleared. It's been cleared because you it's like paying universal time for universal crime energy. Um, if that res if that resonates. Free general reading, so it's only important, to, um, it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with you guys. Thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. If you would like a personal reading, it's $100 for 15 minutes. And um, you can text me below if you are interested. I still have some thoughts left. Hold on one second, guys. I apologize. Hello? Hello? I, I'm not sure, sir. If you want to book a personal reading, you need to text me, okay? Okay, you have a good day. Bye. Okay. The devil reverse, seven of cups reverse. A Taurus is getting very, very, very clear on a person of their past. Fire sign energy. They were lied to in huge, huge, huge ways in the past. But they are seeing the truth very, very, very clearly. There's about to be huge positive transformations. Transformation in this fire sign's life. Intuitively, this Taurus knows this. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, you're dealing with fire sign energy. It could be Aries, Leo, Sag. They could have Aries, Leo, Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and mid or Jupiter charts, if that resonates. Um, but I heard um, they basically, you were lied to in a huge way in the past. They, um, I think you, you, there was gossip and slander, talking negatively about this person, but I think you're seeing positive from this person and you know i think you're highly intuitive so i think you knew it in the past you just didn't want to admit it um but you're physically seeing it now in some shape form or fashion in the 3d so it's like no denying it it's no denying it um um i heard the very positive things in the universe is about to happen for this fire sign so i don't think they're low vibrational i think they're high vibrational and they're about to get positive karma for some the karmic debt being cleared could be the karma debt being cleared from this fire sign possibly for some it could be you the karma debt being cleared from but this fire sign is significant in your life in some shape form or fashion i think you were severely 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 lied to about this person in it that you were they, they, they were gossip and slandered basically um is what i'm feeling but you're seeing the real truth i think you didn't i think you saw it in the past for some you just didn't want to admit it but you plug it in how it resonates. So they're not toxic and you're not confused on it anymore, basically. I think you were told they were toxic, but you know they're not. They've got devil reverse. They're this their energy. They're not toxic. You're not confused on the situation. I think in the past maybe you were at one shape or fashion, but then you became intuitive and realized they wasn't. Now there's no denying it. For some, you could be dealing with the caps. Maybe a caps told you this fire sign was toxic, possibly for some. If you are, they could have caps in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, fourth, and mid-haver, Jupiter, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have signed of this.
King of Pentacles, reverse, six of swords upright. A particular Taurus is about to get what much more money in child support than they thought they were going to. It's going to make them very, very happy, and this Taurus is going to pay it forward to someone that helped them. Wow. Well, you go with your bad self, Taurus. If this resonates with you, congrats to you. Um, I heard a particular Taurus is about to get much more money in child support than they thought they were going to. Um, it's going to really, um, it's going to help them. Of course, it's going to help them financially. Absolutely. And I heard um, you're going to pay it forward to the person that helped you, um, helped uh, maybe commit to you go get the child support or file for the child support or helped you through some kind of problem or situation. I think it's regarding child support. Maybe I think for some, they convinced you to go get child support is what I think. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. I heard you're going to pay it forward. So some kind of pay it forward energy. It's obviously going to make you very happy. This is the energy of your um, baby daddy or ex where you're about to file, finally file for child support. Uh, whoever this is for, you're finally going to file for it. And absolutely, absolutely. So they're, they're going to be unstable, ungrounded, unreliable, unattainable when they get the paperwork, basically realizing they have to legally pay you the child support they owe you. And for some, they probably have to pay back, back pay. And they should, they should. Definite back pay. Well, there you go. I heard definite back pay. So that's probably the way more money than you thought. Back pay. You go with your bad self. You go with your bad self. And they should. They should. It's going to make them pissed. But they should have done it all along. And that's just the truth. Six of swords, they're going to be pissed, angry. But they did it to themselves. You go with your bad self, Taurus, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have for time of, I mean, Taurus, yeah. Death upright, eight of cups upright. A Taurus that has once prostituted themselves out to the community is about to dead that shit. They realize they're they have been they have been getting funny looks from a people in the community. They know, they don't say anything, but they know they're secretly being disrespected. Oh, woo. you plug it in how it resonates. So this is a Taurus that has prostituted themselves out. If this resonates with you, you can be masculine or femme, um, how that resonates. But you've secretly prostituted yourself out, but the community really knows. So it's really not a secret. You don't say anything to people. People don't say anything to you, but they know. Everybody in Mama knows. They just don't say anything to you, basically, energy. So you secretly prostitute yourself out, meaning you didn't tell the community. But others told the community. But the community is not going to tell you they know. If that makes sense. That's the energy I'm feeling because I heard you're get, been getting funny looks from people. Um, and you know. You know they know. Um, and, it's cause, and you feel like they're disrespecting you. They're looking down upon you. They think they're better than you. Because you've been prostituting yourself out. But they're not going to tell you, hey, I know you're a prostitute. If that makes sense. Um, so that's why you're going to stop it. I heard you're going to debt it. You're going to put it into it. Because you know people are talking about it. They're just not going to tell you. Eight of cups upright. Dead in the shit. Putting it in to it. Into the disrespect. Into the um, gossipy gossip train. And then what the hell are they going to say when you quit doing it? Nothing. Because you won't be doing it. Or they could say something, but it'll be a lie. For some, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, or maybe a Scorpio is a customer, possibly for some, or a Scorpio is your pimp, however that resonates. If you are, they could have Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, Haven, Jupiter, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have, Sun Taurus.
A Taurus is about to have wavy hair. Okay. I heard a Taurus is about to have wavy hair. Wavy hair. So maybe you have stick straight hair. Um, and you're about and you're about to get some curl in it. Um, real, I'm thinking like, yeah, wavy hair. So maybe your hair sticks straight and you're going to get a perm. Or you're going to use a curling iron and curl your hair. You can be masculine or fem. However that resonates for you. Ten of swords reversed. King of wands reversed. A Taurus is planning to impregnate. A Leo is about to back backfire in a huge way. They are not interested. They will call the police. Oh, dear God. You plug it in how it resonates. Leo energy. So somebody wants to impregnate a, uh, a Leo. A Taurus does. Obviously, it's a femme Leo or they're trans with masculine and femme parts, how that resonates. But um, I heard it's going to backfire because this femme Leo apparently is very not interested and they will very much tell you. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, they could have Leo and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, them in heaven, or Jupiter. They're femme or they're masculine and femme, how that resonates. I heard they're definitely not interested. So if you know who this Leo is in your life, um, and you are, in, are highly intuitive. A lot of you guys are highly intuitive. So I think you know who it is. I wouldn't even try with that person. I wouldn't even freaking try with them. Because I heard you're going to get the police called on you. So do you want the police called on you? Um, if they haven't made any moves towards you as far as being interested in you, I would just let it go and find somebody else. But you can take the, take the advice or leave it. Ten of swords reversed. King of wands reversed. A Taurus that once said they were in a relationship with a Leo. It's about to be made very publicly known. They have never been in a relationship with this Leo. A personal relationship. A Cancer is about to have a lot to do with this. It's going to mortify this Taurus. Okay. Heavy Taurus and Cancerian energy. Um... If this resonates for you, Taurus, apparently you made it very publicly known you were in a relationship with the Leo. Leo energy strong in here. It can be masculine or femme Leo. They could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhammer, Jupiter. But if that resonates, I heard you made it very publicly known you were in a relationship with uh, the Leo, like a personal relationship. But I heard you never were. And a Cancer knows you never were. And they're about to be made, make it very publicly known that you never were. The Cancer is. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates with you, I heard it's going to mortify you, it's going to embarrass you, but you should have never been running the lips saying you were in a relationship with the Leo in the first place when you never were, in all seriousness. They could have Leo or Cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, they may have Jupiter. I think for that message, this could go with that because secrets coming out that you were never in the relationship with the Leo. You were never together with them. You had no desire, drive, and motivation towards the Leo. I don't think you even made moves or let them know you were interested. I don't think you even communicated the fact that you liked them for some. Some, I mean, how you the hell are you in a relationship with somebody if you don't even communicate? Hey, I like you. Check yes or no if you're interested. I mean, how the hell are you gonna know? You're not. So I think for some, you had some serious communication issues and you didn't. You were gabbing your lips to everybody else in the freaking community in the world, but you didn't even tell the person you were supposed to be in a relationship with that you wanted to be. You didn't even ask permission, basically. And so how the hell are you going to be in a relationship with somebody when you wasn't? And that's just true for real, for real. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. Spirit messages you have for Santos. A Taurus is about to contact a Leo very soon regarding a reward energy that they should have been owed in the past. 
Position a high authority Taurus. Well, this is a good one. Very heavy Leo energy in here. Holy crap. I heard a um, Taurus is position high authority Taurus is about to contact a Leo soon uh, regarding a reward that they should have had in the past. It sounds like a monetary reward, um, but they never got. So um, it's going to piss off a Piscean in a huge way. Okay, I heard it's going to piss off a Piscean in a huge way. So the Pisces didn't want you to have the reward or they stole the reward from you, however that resonates. But the Taurus is um, about to contact you because they know an error was made and you were supposed to get it and you didn't. Um, so you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, it could, they could have uh, Pisces or Leo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Moon, Jupiter, if that resonates. Lobster, financial pinch. Some Tauruses are in a serious financial rut right now. Some bad investments, some money was not given where it was owed, but things are about to start balancing out. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So some of you guys, you um, are in a financial pinch because some you were you were not given money that was owed to you. Some is that child support energy, but you're about to get the back pay and that's where the um balance is about to come for some congrats to you and for some you um made bad investments so you spent your money irresponsibly and irrationally or not wisely in some kind of bad investment energy and that's what put, has put you in financial pinch but i heard things are going to start balancing out soon so i think you know yeah you made a bad investment but you you know you made a bad investment move on kind of energy the child, the child support situation, that's going to get balanced out, is, um, at least for one person in the universe. So that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Vote, money, or property through an inheritance, winning, or windfall. Oh, I just heard something, but I heard not to say anything. Oh, okay. Well, I won't. Ooh, it was a good one too. But I heard not to say anything specifically from spirit. It has to do with the, well, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say anything. Ooh. A boat is about to be very significant for one significant Taurus. For some a yacht. For some a trailer. Oh my God. Uh, okay, so for some of you guys, a boat, a yacht, and a trailer. For some, it could be one of those. For some, it could be two or more. Boat, yacht, a yacht's like Jay-Z, yacht energy, pimping it out on the big yacht. Um, for some, a boat, for some, a yacht, for some, a trailer is about to be very significant for a Taurus. So I think maybe you're going to get this boat, yacht, or trailer through a uh, through a, um, inheritance, winning, or windfall. For some, that's exactly what I'm feeling. Because a uh, boat is money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Heard bo boat, yacht, and trailer. For some, it could be one. For some, it could be two or more. But I think you're about to get a boat, yacht, or trailer through some kind of inheritance. Rico law is about to be very significant for one particular Taurus as well. Okay, and I heard Rico law is about to be very significant for one particular Taurus as well. Um, so Rico law. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. If you're not familiar with what the RICO law is, you can Google it. I did a reading on it a few weeks ago. All right, you guys, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices, and I hope this helped. If you think anyone else can benefit from the messages, please share the videos on your social media. I appreciate it. Love you guys. Namaste.